G'day golfers. In today's video, we're gonna get you flushing your drives with this one simple drill. Welcome to Aussie Golf Pros. Step one in finding the sweet spot with your driver is to get some quality feedback. We wanna know where you're hitting your driver right now. Now, it could be all over the club face, but most shot patterns generally stick to one area. It could be low on the face, it could be towards the toe, or it could be towards the heel, or even high. Most golfers will graduate to one area and most shots will be at the same spot on the driver, at least to a degree. So, we're gonna get some quality feedback. You can use a, a spray, this is just some dry shampoo. You can use a foot powder spray, even some tape on your face. So that's gonna come up nice and white there, you see? Corella over there. Let's see where I'm striking my driver. Well, it felt like it was out the toe and a little bit low on the club face. And there it is, out towards the toe. So that created that draw shot over to the left hand side. That's called gear effect. And we're gonna cover that in a later video. But the point is here, I've lost distance. I've lost control over the shot. I've hit it too much out the toe and therefore I'm not getting the performance that I'm looking for. Step two now is to do exactly the opposite. Whenever you have a bit of a problem with your golf swing or your ball striking or your direction, do the opposite. So that was out the toe. So this one, I'm gonna hit out the heel. Now the important thing here is to set up exactly the same. I'm not gonna stand closer to the ball because I towed it. What tends to happen there is that the player will then cramp up. And if you're healing shots and you stand further away, you're just gonna stretch out even further and you're still gonna heal it. What we're talking about here is awareness of where the club head is through space. We're gaining control, not through any technical change, but just quality feedback leading to that greater awareness and that greater awareness leads to control. And this is the drill that I want you to do on the range here is anything that you find a struggle with, do the exact opposite. So that was a toe and I tend to toe a few of my shots. So I'm gonna hit this out the heel. Exactly the same setup. And all that means is that I'm gonna focus on getting the club to stretch out away from me a little bit, strike it just out of the heel there and won't feel great off the club face. But the important thing is I'm gaining awareness and control over where that club head is. Exactly the same setup. Well, that was definitely out the heel. See the different shape? Now it's curving to the right, bit of a fade. And there we can see the second strike well out the heel. Overdid a little bit, but that's great. I managed to exactly the opposite, and therefore I'm gaining control, gaining awareness of what's happening. So you know what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna see if I can get one right out the middle. Remember, we're not talking about changing anything technical here. This is about skill development, getting awareness of where that club head is, and then learning to just strike it better with better awareness and better focus. Okay, let's see how we go. I've hit one out the toe, one out the heel. There we go. Right out the middle, much better flight on the shot, more distance, more consistency, more control over where the ball's going. You can do this. It doesn't matter what your swing looks like, how flawed you think you are technically, you can improve your skill level by this simple drill and doing the opposite to what's been happening. We're developing skill and we're improving your ball striking and not changing your golf swing. Just your awareness of where the club head is in space. Well, I said it was simple. All you need to do is have a go at doing exactly the opposite to what you've been doing. If you're hooking, hit slices. If you're slicing, hit hooks. If I was towing, then I try and hit heels and then go back to the middle. And look, it'll take a few goes, sure it will. But every time you try this differential type of practice, then you're going to improve your skill level and get more awareness of what's going on. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the little bell in the corner so you get notifications of our new videos and we'll be back next week. Are you the best golfer you can be?